Hi, I'm Sriharsha Kanuri. I'm a senior sales engineer here at Delphix. A typical organization struggles with data spread over multiple heterogeneous systems in production and non-production environments. Delphix provides a platform solution to ingest data from multiple relational and non-relational data sources, profile and mass sensitive data by policy, and deliver production quality data to the right users on demand. This capability enables teams to speed up the application development and reduce costs as users will be able to operate on the virtual databases in a self-service manner. We will show you how Delphix virtualizes data in this short demo. To start, log in into the Delphix engine as an admin user. Delphix opens to your dashboard, which gives you an overview of your data storage and performance. Click on the Manage menu and select the environments. Here you will see a list of environments added in the Delphix engine, and then you can select the environment which has the database to be added as D source. Click on the Databases tab to see all the installations on the environment that Delphix has discovered. Now we are going to add a D source, which is Delphix internal representation of the data source. In this example, we will add a SQL Server database. Select the Add D source of the database you want to add. The source step lists available data sources. Select the data source to be added as D source. Enter the database username and password. This user should have necessary privileges to create a D source. Then click Validate to validate the credentials. And then in this page, you can enter the name of the D source. I will leave this as AdventureWorks 2016. And then you can create a new target group where this data source should reside. You can say add data group and say sources, add a description if needed, add the data group. Now, in this data management page, you can select how Delphix can manage your backups, how or you can configure and administer the data details. Here in this page, we will let the Delphix manage its own back backup. So we will check the enable box so that it will take the initial load by itself. This option will take full backups based on the snapshot policy that will define in the next page. You can also have the option to let Delphix auto discover the backup location or manually provide the backup path. We will leave everything else as default. Here in this page, you can review the default snap sync and retention policies. Snap sync policies control the scheduling of synchronization with the source database. Retention policies control how long snapshots and logs are kept by Delphix. Delphix captures a granular data history that allows you to provision data at a precise point in time. This is a powerful for shift left testing and other analytic scenarios. Here in this screen, you're going to add hooks. We, cannot, we also call them as pre and post start scripts, which can be run before and after a process as seem fit by your environment. We are not going to add any in the, for this demo, so we're going to go next. On this page, we are going to review the summary of all the uh, information that we typed. If there is anything that's uh, missing, just go back and edit it. And now go ahead and click Submit. Now we can see what is happening with this in, in uh, the Actions panel. The steps that are being performed during the ingestion process are being shown here. Delphix will make a connection to the source environment and will initiate a copy only full backup of the source database for the initial load of the D source. Thereafter, Delphix engine will initiate copy only full backups of the source database using the schedule specified by the selected snapshot policy. Delphix will first mount the data sets on the staging host and restore the backup onto the staging host. For initial load, Delphix engine will start two internal jobs to create and load the D source named dblink and dbsync. Once the D source has been created, Delphix will take an initial snapshot which can be used to provision virtual databases. We have seen in minutes that a new 
they, these words will appear on the list on the left hand side of the page. After you have created a D source, the configuration tab of the D source management panel allows you to view information about it and make modifications to its policies and permissions. In the left panel of my, my data sets window, click on the D source name to view the D source management panel. Now let us provision a virtual database from this D source. Virtual databases are space efficient using a 10th of a footprint of physical databases. They are also fully read write data copies. Select the D source that you just ingested. Select a snapshot from the source and click on the provision icon. Here, select the target environment where you want the virtual database to be created. And here in this page, we could configure the target environment as where the target group it should reside as. So here, let me select this as a dev target group. I could name my virtual database. Let me name it vwin uh, or vdev2. Uh, we leave everything else as default. Here in this page, we are going to uh, select the snapsync policies or the retention policies. We are going to leave this default for now. If we are masking this environment, we, are we can do the masking here. For the sake of this demo, we are not doing any masking at this point. Here again, we can add all the hooks. Every operation can have a pre-hook and a post-hook and they can be defined as selected by your environment or as it is suitable for you. Here, we are not going to add any. We're going to review all the uh, information that we have and we're going to click Submit. And again, you could review what's happening with the provision process in the actions panel. During the provisioning process, Delphix will mount the data sets on the target server. And once the backup has been validated, Delphix will recover the database on the target server. And once the recovery process completes, a new snapshot will be generated. We can now see that the virtual database has been provisioned within minutes instead of days or weeks, and the new VDB will be displayed on the left panel. And as soon as the new VDB is created, Delphix takes an initial snapshot to mark that at what time that this database has been provisioned. As we have shown in this demo, Delphix ingests data from heterogeneous data sources within a few minutes, keeps the data continuously in sync with production systems, and then efficiently delivers the data to downstream users in personal data environments. Users like developers, testers, and analysts can operate on the data in a virtual environment with self-service controls. With these powerful virtualization features, you can accelerate your enterprise application development and cloud migration initiatives. To learn more about Delphix, please contact us.